Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chomp here and welcome back to another episode of Battle Spot Blast. Like I said, there's going to be two episodes this week, maybe more next week. But like I said, we're going to be jumping in this week with the same team as the previous episode. Now, I am still shook by that last loss. I can't believe that using Will-O-Wisp on a Age Slash that was able to use King Shield was the wrong play. That tilts me in second wall. A burnt age of slash pretty much one shot my Charizard X. I, the thing is, the thing is defensive too. Max HP with points in like defense and special defense. I don't understand how I, it doesn't matter. Anyway, let's jump into it and hopefully we can take away two wins this time, maybe even three because I'm scarred and I hate. I actually hate the game for putting me up against someone from 1650. Like, how is that fair? Oh, you just started playing online. Cool. Let me throw some shade at you, because I'm pretty sure you don't see people go very far past 2k. And, like, 1500 shouldn't be the average point. I'm going up against relatively good players with competitive teams. If I'm in battle spot, I shouldn't be going up against, like, I mean, I get that makes sense. Relatively good players with competitive teams, but I don't know. It just seems like a very toxic environment for a casual player, and I think that sucks. Um, anyway, our opponents, we have a low pony, we have a Chandelure, we have a Tapu Bulu, a Landorus, a... Toxapex and a Metagross of our opponent's own. So we're going to definitely bring Mamoswine because we see some, we see plenty of things weak to it. We want to bring Komoo because that Z move is going to be more powerful than anything. Um, and even if Tapu Bulu comes out, we can smash it with some other moves. Um, and of course, he is slower than me. He should be slower than me. Um, and I guess for the Mega, we see physical. I think actually Gyarados is the pick. Gyarados is probably the pick. A lot of fair weakness. Kind of scares me. But Mamoswine can handle the bull. And I think Mamoswine can 1v1 anything on their team right now. So we're just going to pick Mamoswine to start off with. And then we'll go Komoto and Gyarados. I think is the way. I kind of want to bring Charizard. Because I love Charizard. But Landorus is just... It, it kind of scares Charizard out. Like his Landorus is fast and powerful enough to kill it. Which is just like... it's it's spooky. Normally Charizard likes to come in and be like... oh. You can kill me, but I'm pa I'm fasting you, and I'm just gonna um, burn you first, and then I'm gonna heal until I can you know start fighting back. So that's kind of how my Charizard fights, and if they're faster and powerful to one shot me, then it just doesn't work out. So we see Low Pony, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Like I said, we're powerful to one v one anything, but at the same time it's not like we want to. We're probably gonna get hit by a fake out right now, so I'm just gonna switch. Because I'm not interested in getting hit by Because, like, Fake Out is a killer against Mamoswine because, of course, that removes the Focus Sash from me. And I completely forgot that that was even an option. That Focus, that, um, that Fake Out could happen. They're going to Mega Wolf. Do you reckon they can one-shot out? They have a Flying-type move, maybe, but this is not a Flying-type Pokemon, so we should be A-OK. -okay. We see the Fake Out, so we made the right choice there. Takes a decent amount of damage. And that's Stab, so charging with that damage, we should be A-OK. -okay. You just go for a clang or a soul blaze. This Komodo is tanky. They would draw probably in straight into, into Bulu. Yeah, <clears throat> should have predicted that. That's my that's my misplay. If I had gone for the flamethrower, we'd be in such good shape. So, um, Zemu burned. And of course, you can tell this person brings a fairy type just so they don't get mean by this Komodo strat. Because Komodo is so powerful, but I mean, people have to bring the fairy. Alright, we get some HP back from this Bulu. Um, there's no point switching out, to be, to be quite honest. We're just going to go for which move, which of these moves are stronger. 90 and 80. Let's go for the Flamethrower. We got speed. We should do a good amount of damage to this thing. Just over 50. And we see a Z-move of its own. Grass-type Z-move. Big Seed, maybe? No, full force. I guess they expected, um... I guess they expected Mamoswine to make its return. And now it's a fair play. Kamaru lives very easily. Alright, now they're going to get a little bit of HP back too, but I think they might still die to the Flamethrower, so we're just going to use it and we're going to see what happens. And if they don't die, then we can of course just Ice Shard them later. Are they willing to stay in or are they going to switch out? That's the question. I 
What will they do? I was gonna say, are you, are you willing to let your Tapu Bulu go down to a to a Komodo? <clears throat> That's the thing. Let's do a good amount of damage. Not as much I would have hoped for, but it's okay. And we just kind of stay in and take this. Uh... I'm gonna get another one. The fo the the um the. Return. Okay, I was gonna say the fake out isn't gonna kill me, and just in case they choose to switch out. Also, did that was that my Facebook popping off? My bad, guys. My bad. Many apologies. I completely forgot that I had it open. All right, so we went down to that. Going to Mammoth Swine, and I think what we'll do is we'll use Icicle Spear. Just in case Bulu wants to come back. Because I can imagine swapping out Low Pony is appealing to them. Because, of course, uh, Low Pony can get its uh, attack recharged, I guess. Is, it where you, is that one where you put it? We live that. Ice Crystal Spear comes through. If we can get more than... If we can get three hits, we can kill this thing. Alright, awesome. Four hits is just instant KO. Just kidding, it's not instant KO. So they heal up with the effect of the thingo. We also get a tiny bit of HP too. Now the question is, how fast is Bulu? Do you reckon Bulu can outspeed my Mammoth Swine? Well, it did not speed Komodo, and I think out Mammoth Swine outspeeds Komodo. At least my Mammoth Swine speeds my Komodo. Low Pony withdraws, what comes out? Tap a Bulu. Get the grassy terrain back, I can understand why you'd want that. Um, now, can this do over half of its remaining HP? If so, there's no stress. Easy peasy. I'm telling you, man. Mammoth Swine is 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 love. Mammoth Swine is life. One day, I, I want to use Mammoth Swine with the Ice Type Z move because it's the most majestic Z move, and Mammoth Swine is a majestic Pokemon. Look at this thing. Look at it. Beautiful. So then down goes the Bulu. So I'm happy for that. And Low Pony is also. Next to dead, which is really good for us. And we're sitting here just just loving, bathing in this amazing grassy terrain. So thank you so much, my opponent. Thank you very much. Chandelure comes out. That's the furthest thing from a good time for us. We're going to switch out to Gyarados. As long as Mammoth Swine lives, we win to the um, low punny. Because uh, Fake Out's only priority one. Actually, that's not true. Because they, they're fast to be anyway. But their fake out won't one shot me, which is, which means we're in good shape. Intimidate hit, kind of pointless. Um, they're going to go for Energy Ball. Good pick, but it's still neutral. Then we can. I think we can't Mega because that'll speed me. We just Waterfall. Yes, it's just waterfall. Oh, we had sped. Never mind. Mega mega waterfall was the pick. Oh, thank you, game. I'm so lucky right now. Waterfall again. Match is forfeit. Okay. I think they realized that after that flinch, it was game over. I'm, I'm surprised that thing didn't outspeed me. That, that's really interesting. I thought Chandler was really, really fast, but I guess I was wrong. I think, oh, I think, no, his stat that's really high is his, his attack. His attack is really high. His special attack, obviously. I think that was his selling point. I don't think he was that fast. But hey, I was just really worried at that, because I, I think an energy ball against a non, like, neutral Gyarados would have killed. We'll save the battle video, so I think we're getting pretty lucky right now. I think we won the first match in the last episode because of a missed Draco Meteor, and now we won because of a flinch. Like, I think we need we need to channel more luck, less skill, because the skill isn't getting us anywhere. But we do have a rating now that's higher than 1500, so that's really nice for us. Let's switch up the music. Back to Team Skull. Team Skull was our good luck music. Let's do that again. Where are you? There you are. I say that was my good luck music, but I kind of also did really well in that last match. And did I even change the music? I don't even remember. Let's find our next opponent. 
two for two. Someone at fifteen twenty-six. So we're looking like we're getting people closer to our level, which is kind of what we want. Um, it's, their per the person's name is Jeremy, and they have a what do you what's your name? Rotom, Luzamine, hmm. official name. What is that? Is UB UBO two beauty, or come on, come on, come on. I give up. Um, Boxapex, dude. Coco and Landorus are everywhere. What the? I need I need one. Um, Mamo looks like the the back row bet. They have a fairy, which is scary. Rhymes. Uh, I think is Charles at the pick this time. Oh, Gyarados hits um hits Rotom with Earthquake. Though. That's important to note. Um, I think we'll lead Mamoswine again. Mamoswine can earthquake everything except for the Rotom. Um, and we can drop rocks on the bug. Uh, Komodo can happily switch into the Rotom. And Gyarados is Gyarados. Does that sound fair to everyone? Okay, what else can what, what else can Komodo hit though? Flamethrower? I don't know, man. Um, Last second switch. If Komodo was the way to go, I really feel bad. But I just want to keep picking the same team, you know? Gyarados, Gyarados, uh, Komodo, and, uh, and, and uh, what's his name? Mammus one? I almost forgot. I almost forgot his name. You know one thing I don't like about Battle Spot? You don't get to see Pokemon's nicknames. I understand not showing your opponent's nicknames because maybe your opponent has some weird words in their name or like you know stuff that they don't want other people to see exposed over all the internet but can i at least see mine that'd be nice so this toxic is about to have a really bad day i'm gonna go the earthquake they might they might switch to to, 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 to landers to avoid this but that's not going to be a good time for them we hit them with the earthquake absolutely wonderful how much is it gonna do probably not probably not all the hp but a good amount there you go that's a good a really good amount scald is here Fine by me. We did get burned though. That is really lucky on their part, really unfortunate for us. They're going to bane for bunker. But no one else wants to be here. Even with a burn, I might need this mammoth one. So we're going to go into Gyarados. Because Gyarados also has Earthquake, and that's going to be really, really useful for us. Oh, they also withdrew. Oh, that's really good part. Do we have Ice Fang? I forget if we have Ice Fang. Oh, man. Of course I switched first. Because I'm faster. I meant to Mega Evolve. And because I didn't Mega Evolve, I'm in so much trouble. That's such a tilter. That's such a tilter. I, for some reason in my head, I was like, I'll pick my move and then I'll pick Mega Evolve, which is obviously not how the game works. Nice Fang. Let's go. Now we're Mega That would have done so much less damage if I had Mega Evolved last turn. And I would have been in such good shape. Mold the Breaker. We dodge the attack, that's fair. Let's go for one of these ones. And down goes Landorus. Now our speed is still normal. So we're, we're neutral, neutral right now. Like we are, we are, you know. All stats balanced, because I got a minus one attack, then a plus one attack, and I got a minus one speed and a plus one speed. So we're, we're kind of on par. A, a Tapu Coco shows his face. To Coco and... Um, Coco and... Toxapex. Let's go for Mam... Let's get Mamoswine back out here. I can't risk um, Gyarados going down to the thing, and Gyarados will definitely not add speed. And I'm weak to both its stab. Wow, Gyarados does not have a good matchup with Coco. Really does not have a good matchup with Coco. 
That's it in Grim. We did not live that. Life orb? No life orb. Alright, Mimikyu come on through. We're going to go for a Swords Dance, and then we're going to go for our Z move. Or can we even live an attack? Should we go for our Z move first? Because if we can't live... I, know, I'm, I think I'm going to rest any Mimikyu's defenses. Oh, but it's, in, it's in, in, in the terrain. It could hit really, really hard. So we're just going to go for the Z move first. Capricorn doesn't have that high defense either, so we should be okay. Roll switches out. That's fine. And breaks my disguise. Alright. Now, this probably won't do too much damage, but I will be able to outspeed that Pokemon, so it should be okay. I think Tapu Koko will be the end of us because uh, we have no Mammoth Swine. That burn honestly changed the game. That burn actually changed the game. This thing has regenerate, doesn't it? It had so much more health than last time it was in the field. I completely forgot this Pokemon gets a regenerator, which is a broken ability, might I add. Well, not really broken, but in a 3v3, it's broken because being able to heal that much health by switching out is kind of crazy. Like, if you think about it, it's a really, it's a much bigger portion of your team's total health because you have less Pokemon. Alright, so it's going to do a total of zero damage because it is resisted. But it's still a Z move, so it should do a decent amount. About as much as a Shadow Claw would do, so we can kind of gauge whether a Shadow Claw would KO. Definitely not. Definitely not. Alrighty. I need Gyarados to set up on this Toxic Specs. I really need that. I need Gyarados to set up on this Toxic Specs. Mold Breaker. Scold? If it burns me again, I'm tilted. Cool. I was actually about to get tilted because I was going to assume I got burned. Um, we have to D dance. And that way, hopefully, we can see a Baneful Bunker. No, we didn't see Baneful Bunker. Probably expect the D dance. What are they going to do for us now? Toxic? Haze. Does that remove stat buffs? Ooh. Kawaii. Can they really sit there and haze as many times as I can Dragon Dance though? It just depends how stubborn they think I am. You know what I mean? Do they think I'll just keep Dragon Dancing? Because I don't win without Dragon Dancing. There we go. So we get to keep our buff now. We could potentially see a baneful bunker right now, and I'm, that kind of that kind of scares me. Go for the earthquake. But the baneful bunker will get them nowhere. It will get them another another um, heal, but that's it. Again, I, I think they wanted they wanted more so to get rid of the haze. There goes the top specs, and now we just have to hope and pray that plus one Gyarados is faster than Tapu Koko. If we are an earthquake, should kill. And if it doesn't kill, we still have a we still have a little Mimikyu in the fray. Are we faster? No. Yeah, I mean, it would have been a mission to get to plus two. That's the big part about it. It would have been so hard to get to plus two. And then we already lost our Sash because Volt Switches are such a powerful move. Like, if you get able to Volt Switch on a Mimikyu or do any kind of U-turn Volt Switch shenanigans on a Mimikyu is such a powerful thing. Go for the Chatter Claw. Maybe we can crit, live a hit, and then... I doubt I'll live a hit, though, because Thunderbolt can just okay me. Just kidding, Z-move. No, everyone's styling on me today with their Z moves. Ah, I say today because I don't know if you guys don't know, I recorded the same the previous episode like 20 minutes ago. 
Ah. Oh. So no leaving that. War speed, man. It's just so powerful. I just want someone on Battle Spot, anyone, to not use a fairy type. Like, how hard is it to not run any fairy types? Because if they do, then I get free wins with Kamo. But yeah, at, least, at least we only at least we only lost, you know, one zero. It wasn't much worse than that. Again, like, how fast is a plus one Gyarados? Like, I mean, it must have been they they have probably had to be speed uh, speed boosted nature to actually get through that. Because I'm pretty certain, I'm pretty certain that uh, that it would have been a close. It would have been a close like speed level. Because I think Gyarados doesn't get base one hundred when he Mega Evolves. Or am I just crazy? Um, yeah, say about battery. We always say about battery. We've got plenty of space on this bloody SD card. It doesn't really matter. Then, going for our next battle. And hopefully we can win this one because we're one for one in this episode. And maybe, just maybe, we can walk away three for three overall for the first this first episode. Because that'd be, that'd be pretty great. I'll take that. I'll take three for three because obviously I haven't played in a very long time. We're going to pick the music. We're going to go with Luzamine version one because never forget... Never forget. Okay, so we're going with someone who's a much lower ranking than us. Maybe that means we're gonna have a chance. We'll see what happens. The game is realizing that I'm just I'm just shitty at the game. Um, all right. So Charizard looks very appealing here. Gyarados, not so much. Um. Who would? Who? Would, no fairies. <laughs> That's the first thing I care about. Then. I mean, even Metagross isn't that useful here. I guess Mamoswine, because, I mean, Mamoswine can handle the the Zapdos to some extent. Um, and Earthquake hits everything else for neutral, so that's really good for us. We'll bring that. And I'm probably we're, we're probably going to see that Milotic, so that's going to be a problem for us. But hopefully we can find a way around it, because there's no Pokemon on my team that says, hey, no to Milotic. So we'll see what happens. I like this person's all yellow color scheme. Also, I say this a lot, but I feel like I'm tired of being... A Kamo'o. Just the amount of exposed skin my character has makes me uncomfortable. Even like, the uh, the Kamo'o armor set's so cool, but just like, bruh. That's a really, really cool hair color. I didn't know you can make your hair that color. I've been bamboozled. Karchana. As much as I would love to just go for my Z move, of course, we have no choice but to go for Flamethrower. Let's see, will they switch out or will they will they just stay in and Cause I can live the smart strike no problem. This is this is this even neutral? It is neutral. This should one shot. Four times super effective. This Pokemon is frail as all hell too. Ooh. Not bad. But I think the next one kills. Should I no I shouldn't see that's that's crazy talk. That's crazy talk. Watch just crit. No, we're okay. It's fine. Flame throw for the next one. Part of me was like, if I Z move now, it's kind of a free roost, but I'd rather try and use the attack to damage something. You know what I mean? And this thing should outspeed my logic. My logic slow, so I can probably get the move off on that, and that's going to be really, really helpful. All right, so there's one book one down. Metagross is here. Metagross carries bullet punch. But otherwise, it will be slower than me. I'm just going to try it. Just to get the boost. I, I have to try. So, Mega Evolve? That's fine. I, that's what, I just wanted to know if it would Mega Evolve on me. Ice Punch. Interesting choice of move. Hmm. How do I want to go about this? Mammoth Swan guaranteed gets the kill. But it's going to lose a lot of HP in the process. And if my Lotus is in the back, it's going to be a bad time. So I'm, I guess we'll just go Charizard. We resist one stab, man. It's, it's, it's a smart play. I can Willow and Roost around. Let's see how we go. I'm kind of scared because we could very easily lose this because Metagross is a very, very, very powerful Mega Mega Pokemon. And Mega re 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 re. I'm fumbling over my words because I'm scared. Dude, just looking at all those hands pointing at me is so scary. Maybe I should run Mega Metagross, man, because it's just ridiculously fast and strong. 
Okay, we had speed and get the Willow Orbs. That's absolutely amazing. So now this thing's pretty much neutered. What is it going to want to do? I'm surprised they outsped that, actually. How fast is this Charizard? Awesome. Alright. This shouldn't hurt me too much. And I should be able to live his attack. And then we can start roost playing the Roost game. Okay, it didn't hurt me a lot because I killed it. Oh my goodness. Wow. Did a lot of damage. Did a very huge amount of damage. Now, what's that last Pokemon? If it's the Malotic, Zapdos. Okay, okay, okay. Resist one stab. Let's go for a roost. To see what's going to happen. Z move. I mean, we're gonna die. Kinda sucks we got outspared by this. But it is what it is. If we had lived that and got the roost off, oh my goodness, my friends. Alright, can Mammoth Swine can Mammoth Swine handle this thing? I mean we should in theory we can. Right, in theory we can. Not sure about practice, and I guess we're gonna go for the icicle spear and hope it doesn't betray. We're really going to hope that Icicle Spear does not betray. How much damage can we do? Come on. Come on, Mammoth Swine. You know I believe in you more than I believe in anything else in this world. Oh, I believe in you so much, my dude. Alright, baby. That's game. That third shot was game. Actually, the fact that the third shot killed... Guaranteed that was game because I sh I shot a stronger than one shot of that. So there we go. We defeated Red, which gives us a three for three this week or three 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 to three because it's three from three or three of three or three three for three sounds like three wins out of three games. But no, three to three ratio. So we're going one for one right now, which is good. I mean, we were so out of practice. We went up against someone who was a completely unfair matchup. We somehow got defeated by a, a burned age slash. I'll never know. But it was it was fun overall, and I think once I really get back into it and start kind of like and putting my head into the game, because I I think one of the biggest parts about winning on Battle Spot is being able to put a lot of time or I mean, you know build the right team, and I don't really have much time for that. But I mean, maybe I can dedicate a little more time to making the right team to kind of handle the big threats. And I mean, the the Global Link really gives you that access. You know, you can see what the most used Pokemon in Battle Spot are. And you can build your team to kind of counter what their threats might be or the category of their threats. Like, oh, dragon types are big. Let me bring a fairy type kind of thing. So, yeah. I think it goes all right. Anyway, we're, we're going to see a new team next week. I might even involve Landorus and Tapu Koko because those guys seem to be everywhere. And they scare me. So, hopefully, we'll have some fun with that next week. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. And of course, if you're looking forward to seeing more Battle Spot, make sure you let me know in the comments that you had, you had fun with this video. Let me know some maybe new Pokemon suggestions you think I should run. And of course, subscribe to the new episodes when they do come out. Either way, I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.